What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lamont Tyson, host of the Life Gains channel. And how can we have a Life Gains channel without talking about fiscal health? I know this channel is about all the moving parts of life coming together to give you a life gain. Finances is a big part of it. And I just went to a website called the Tax Foundation. They've been around since 1937 collecting data on your taxes, how you pay taxes, increases in taxes for the nation. And um, what we just I just read and discovered was very disturbing. Right now, in 2016, would you guys believe that Americans are paying more taxes than we pay for housing, food, and clothing combined? And repeat that again. We are paying more in taxes. Each individual household is paying more in taxes than we pay for housing, food, and clothes combined. Now, some of you people that ain't never had to own a business are probably wondering, well, I'm not paying that much taxes. They're taking too many taxes out of my check. Let me give you a lesson in American capitalism. When you own a business, there is one entity that can come and force you to pay money at the point of a gun at your head, literally, and that's city government, federal government, and the state government. They want payroll taxes. They want unemployment taxes. They want property taxes. And if you ain't got it tough, you better find a way to get it. You know, me and my wife have been big proponents of if we really are trying to help small business in America, something has got to be done to shake up this as soon as someone starts a business the government is in your pocket every cent, every dime. Maybe they need to do some kind of a program where if you're a new business for the first two years, you get some kind of tax clemency or something. If you're really about economic growth and innovation. Okay, I digressed a little bit. But having said that, most of the increases in these taxes hasn't come from the federal government, but more at the state level. That means you need to get more involved in what's going on at your state level by way of understanding what they're spending your money on and fighting, making a stink, starting a YouTube, getting activist groups together so that you can start getting some of that money back. Um, even with all the money the federal government is hosing us down for, it's still not covering all of our bills. We have a trillion dollar something debt. And what does that tell you? Taxes are not going to go down. They're going to go up. So it's up to you to find a way to figure out how to mitigate some of that by getting involved with politics, understanding politics, and generally understanding American capitalism. Um, the one thing I can say positive about North Carolina, even though it's not been a lot of positive things to say, over the last year, North Carolina has gone from 46 in states that tax their residents the most to 14, which is a better business climate, better tax climate, overall better climate for the state in general. Um, take a look at it, guys. The website I found this information on was taxfoundation.org, and it looks like this if you decide to go. I'll put the link in the description box below. And don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Get your life gained through understanding how the government is hosing you down. You'll do a better job of knowing how they take your money and spend it and don't really give you a choice on what they spend it on most of the time, but leaves you under the facade that your vote is telling them how they're spending it. 